look at the experience of Josh Thompson, 22 and 8, and against some of the best in the world at 155 pounds. Number one contender time, main event time, Michael C. Williams time. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Spike, Bellator MMA, presented by Miller Lite from San Jose, California. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Commissioner, John Carvelli Chair, Executive Officer is Mr. Andy Foster. Tonight's main event brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer, it's Miller time. And now, introducing the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in 155.9. The former lightweight world title challenger stands with 16 professional victories, eight defeats from Nepal. Here we go, Here the Norte Brasil. Oh, yeah. Introducing oh. Patrick Pitbull. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at 5 foot 10, weighing in 155.2. The former lightweight world champion tonight returns to the Bellator cage with 22 professional victories, eight defeats, hailing from and fighting out of San Jose, California. In charge of the action, your referee, Big John McCarthy. Gentlemen, you got all the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard and fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck to both of you. The fight clock in the main event brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers, it's Miller time. Just one time before the fight starts, I'm going to point out that my broadcast partner, Chelsea, said he doesn't like hugs, but was a standout Greco-Roman wrestler. That makes no <laughs> sense at all. Irony. A little irony, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. And by the way, before we hear it on the internet, once you're greased, you're not allowed to have that contact. Yeah, so we're trying to get that, but we didn't want to pass up the bro hug. <laughs> and, and you know what? I, Scott just told me that on Twitter. So yes, all right, we're all up See to speed. <laughs> Question is, did you know Paul Daly fought Josh Tuchnik? All right. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. the versatility we're talking about. Change it up, do everything. Yeah, that's yeah what Josh, Josh Thompson, Thompson. He's moving really well. Comes inside, he's got that chin down. I'd like to see the hands up a little higher. I can live with this fight. And there's uh, there's Pitbull just stocking it, waiting for his chance. Now, I mean what I say. Like Pitbull uses the combinations you learn your first week in boxing. Jab, right, hook, uppercut, that's what he throws. The easy stuff, but he put so much power behind it. When he's done his last few fights. I mean, Pitbull used to be a reckless starter. He used to start very fast. Kind of takes his time in that opening round, finds the moment, and then takes the guy out. So he's been patient in the first round his last few fights. Yeah, hey, he's looking patient uh, here right now, Jim. He's really buying his time. Josh is throwing a couple of kicks. Pitbull didn't get too excited. He didn't check him. He didn't try to lunge in. He knew right where they were. Kind of toe grazed by. He's got very good eyes so far. Seeing where his opponent's at. And maybe we're going to see Josh. Now, I've been real big on Josh's pace, but does he still have it? Maybe Josh is going to burn himself out a little bit. He's really been moving quite a bit. When you have that nervous energy, as we saw him have on his way to the cage, some of that burns out. Good kick here by the Pitbull. I like what Pitbull's doing, trying to take that lead leg away from Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson had a ton of that nervous energy in his first two Bellator fights, especially that first one, Jack. His Bellator debut, he was at home. He really wanted to impress. You see the pressure was having its effect on him, but he used it positively. Got a finish over Bronzoulis. One time Josh Thompson was knocked out was against Eve Edwards. I think my all-time favorite MMA knockout was that Eve Edwards knockout. I went for the spinning back fist, and Eve Edwards brilliantly threw a jumping high kick at him, knocked him out. But that's the only one of his career. Only time he's ever been finished, period, and that was 13 years ago. <laughs> 
Josh just keeps going back to these low kicks, inside, outside. I'm surprised Pitbull hasn't made him pay for those. Sending it straight right down the middle. Wouldn't surprise me if he's kind of lulling Josh Thompson into that. I'll keep throwing him, I can make some. Oh, big one! What was that, Jimmy? Yeah, thank you. Thompson, oh, excellent job by Thompson. He looks for a submission. Off bounces, Pitbull scrambles right up to his feet. But he's still hurt. Make no mistake, he might mug. He might, you know, kind of give him some looks, but he is hurt. Watch his legs. But that's where the veteran just let us know. This is not about walking out one more time. This is about me winning. That was his opportunity to flick it, and instead he jumped back up to his feet. Yep. To be how similar to his brother Patricio against Ben Henderson in the first round. Exactly. Power on that shot just flung Josh Thompson to the ground. It was a great punch. In, let's admit it, a very close round. Both these guys have had moments. That power punch, Josh Thompson needs to get this round back. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, no, he's definitely behind in this round. But he sprung back to life. He's playing for keeps. That's what that just told me. And also, you talked about the poker player in Josh Thompson. He's bluffing right now. I'm not hurt. I'm ready to get this fight. To get his opponent to maybe back off for a second. Remember, he's in danger. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. I don't care what you have, I care what you show. That's what I used to tell guys when I trained them. Never show weakness. Josh Thompson isn't showing any weakness. A couple of good head kicks. One from each leg by Thompson. What I like about that is it keeps Pitbull honest. He keeps his hands close to his head. He's got to worry about those fast kicks. Dulls your offense a little bit. You got to worry about keeping your hands that close. Spinning back fist attempts. Pitbull starting to get a little confidence, dropping the hands. The speed of Thompson, that's not a good strategy. Josh Thompson, guys, told his corner, I didn't get rocked, I just got knocked off balance. True or false? He may believe it's true. <laughs> we have the video evidence. George Costanza, it's not a lie if you if believe, you believe it. it. Josh really is doing a good job with these leg kicks. You know, he was starting to stay a little low in that first round. Jimmy had just said, well, Pitbull could be setting him up row, right when he struck. But now Josh is still doing the leg kicks. He's just, he just changed it up. Now he's coming a little bit higher. And, and that's what Josh is so good at. He's, he gives you so many different looks. He switches stance. Oh, nice left hand. Man, Pitbull, when he turns it over. Patricky Pitbull has come to San Jose and knocked out Josh Thompson. Gentlemen, I missed it. What happened? I was looking right at it. I didn't see it. It was. Was it a knee? Neither did Josh Thompson. No, it was a power punch, a right up. Oh, is that what it was? Oh. That's exactly what it was. It was in close. Beautiful shot. Josh Thompson finished for only the second time in his career. His back was to me. I saw Thompson shoot. I'm looking at Pitbull's back, and I see Thompson go down almost like he ran headfirst into his hips or something. Short it was an uppercut. uppercut. Ah. That's why we have these, my friend. Wow. The Black Heart Premium Spice Rum Replay. The Bolt 93 proof Jimmy, rum. Jimmy, you better take us through, because I don't know what I'm looking at I Look here. at it here. He catches him first with a body shot. And then a left hand over the top. That oh, knocked that off. Headbutt? That knocked him off balance. That was the first shot that knocked him off okay. balance. That wasn't the finishing blow. He sits up here and take a look at it, Shale. Sets him up. Bang! Oh, you're right. Right hand uppercut to the chin. Josh Thompson is done. That was just icing on the cake. Look at it here. Sets him up. Catches him coming in. Bang! Yeah. Oh, right wow. on the chin. You know what that looks like to me? That looks like Dan Henderson, Henzo Gracie. Caught him right underneath the chin. That was in pride. Beautiful shot right here. Didn't need a lot of windup. Look at it. It's tight and it's short. Now see, they clashed heads. There was a headbutt and a, and a left hand. They, they clashed heads as, as I think that hurt him. him. I think that hurt yeah, Josh. That might have hurt him, but this is the shot that put him out. No, I'm sorry, this is the headbutt again. Wow. Headbutt and then left hand. Yeah, that was certainly a accidental, but I think that was the beginning of the end for Josh. I think he was hurt right there. He see, this is the angle I had earlier, so I saw him get here, and then he went down. I thought he just ran into his hips. Now I see that tricky uppercut that the pit bull brought underneath. Wow, talk about flush. Beautiful timing on that.
think of the legendary names that Josh Thompson has been inside the cage with that have not been able to finish him. And Patricky Pitbull flattens him in round two. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the end comes 40 seconds into round number two. The winner by knockout, do Brasil, Patricky Pitbull. The 17th win in the career of Patricky Pitbull is his signature. He's with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with the winner, Patricky Pitbull. Patricky, when you wanted this fight, you won it because of the name of Josh Thompson. What does it mean to add that name to your knockout list? Uh, for me, it's a uh, great uh, win one, one guy like Josh. I like him. I like, he's a nice guy, and uh, he's uh, have a big fight in your career. So I'm very happy, very happy for, for Mike Kogan, for Stott, uh, Scott Cooker, and all organization, all stuff, stuff, stuff. The, the, no, 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 the organization of Bellator. See, the Bellator organization, I'm happy for the entire Bellator organization. The one name you don't have on your list of knockouts is Michael Chandler. I know you want a rematch with him. How do you feel about him taking him on again for the title? Maybe one guy is staying in the, the house to watch my fight and crap because he no, don't have this fight. So my win tonight, so shut up, motherfucker. You heard it, Patricky Pitbull. I'm not translating that.